before your emergence has fallen in, you are, you were a businessman for excellence. We know successes you have recorded in real estate development and some other ventures. And we know that Yoruba land is blessed and Nigeria in general to have such influential, energetic, and people-oriented leader as the only. What are we talking about? Is it about the youth empowerment that you want to talk about since your emergence as the only of people? Or to other developmental initiatives? Is it about promotion of peace among the various components of Yoruba land and Nigeria in general? Yeah. Chairman of the Eredo LCDA recognized the ONI as a champion of Yoruba culture and heritage. Let me also greet my father. Oji <laughs> With a key lowering, a and a leader in the all of us, on behalf of all of us in the radio, I want to welcome you specially to our local government and to the palace of His Royal Majesty Alara Abdullah. Now, this, this is historic on many levels. As the Emmy Charles said, it's the first time you or Nirisha is visiting anywhere in the Federation. Now, this, thank you. KBC Ogusowo is the first Alara that will play host to any organization. KBC, you are welcome. Because of your effort, the Yoruba nation today is beginning to speak in one voice. Thank you. We are going to see your effort in the area of security. You have made many trips to Abuja to the uh, office of the president. You stood up for us. During the invasion of the Fulani Expert, we stood for the Yoruba people. KBC, we have also promoted culture and tourism. Ife today has been revitalized as the true hope of culture and tourism. We are the champion of our culture, we are the champion of our heritage. KBC, your contribution will never go unnoticed. The Onitomo of Itomo also welcomes the Oni and offered prayers for him and Oba Olukayode Ogunsongo. And then let your neighbors finish it. 
Oruko mi Taiwo Yusuf pada mo si oba oni to mo ito apeku do yi won Ito Olorun a feran apeku do yi omo alara alagun omo atinta lona oko Gogo be se ko wa je ati ile lohun na do ni kaliku baba nla wa ti se wa Oni kan ti oni kaliku ko <laughs> Yo, this is a good thing. I do a walk No, I do it to go out. Go out. I will have a I will never have a baby. No, I'm back for our sister. The chief host of the event, Oba Olukayode Olufolari Ogunsonwo, while appreciating the presence of guests, which included the Igwe and Paramount ruler of Naka in Anambra State, Prince Bayo Balogun, member of the House of Representatives in Bejuleki Federal Constituency, and the Agbaoye of Ibadan Land, Oloye Bola Karim, spoke glowingly about the much cherished friendship between himself and the Oni, stating that the reason the Oni stood by him in his turbulent times was for such an occasion as this. For those that doesn't know me and Kathy and Tim, we have had our relationship even before I ascended the throne of my forefather. We have been very, very close. And you know, when the true test of friendship is when somebody stays with you in the time of trouble. Kabi when everything was really, really turbulent, stood by me. And he has never forsaken me for one second. I told him earlier, before we came to meet you here, that what happened then, that turbulent thing, was for today to be a reality. God has his own plan for everybody. And that he will not, that plan will never fail. Whatever he has chosen to do, he will do it, no matter what the situation may be. The Arnie thanked his host and the people and prayed for his continued success. He expressed happiness and satisfaction in the leadership of Oba Ogun Sonwo and prayed that the people would continue to experience his fatherly leadership for many years to come. He also prayed that God will continue to strengthen him, give him vision and help him provide prosperity for his people with long life, peace and progress. Okay. Long, 
Ni se mi mo se eta. A fi olodumare. Ti o ba gbe irun ade wa lati orun. Si bo se le se. Olorun olodumare lo ma yan oba. O ni oko oba owo on lo wa. Mo ki tabe si. To te la de. On te le titi de. Ibiti. Olorun olodumare fi ori won so le si o de fin dan loju e si yan o e ti e ti rin gogo e se to dara pupo ni won gbe wo ilu iku a ma ke bi ku eya ma ke bi eye omo eniyan ma ma fun bi omo eniyan oruko won a ro won Ogun san wo omo de ilu arije agba ilu arije okunrin ilu arije obirin ilu arije lola awon alaseku wa ati lola olodumare oba jike oba jike oba to nfojo gbogbo dara ohun na lo sa esa dara dara si eni to telade o ma so mo feran won pupo pupo ati mora o se die na the ani later presented oba ogunsanwo with a gift after the visit a later guest shared their thoughts on the historic visit by the ani ah uh, today is a great day it's a day of joy and happiness for us because this visit is historic um uh, this will be the first visit of uh, any or any of Ife to Ilara. And uh, I'm happy that uh, uh, I'm a witness to this uh, occasion. Um, it shows the unity that we have been uh, advocating for I mean, uh, in Yoruba land. And um, our prayer is that uh, the Unity will grow, will grow stronger. While I'm the chairman of the local government, we are receiving a, uh, the only richer of the source. You know, it's the first time the only will be seen anywhere in the Equa Division. And I'm glad that all the five local government, I'm the chairman that has hosted only today. And I congratulate the Alara too for being the first Alara to be hosting the only of FIFA. It's historical on many levels, and we are thankful. And there's a lot of benefit from this. One, there's going to be a lot of synergy between the Alara and the Oni. And given the role that the Oni is playing in integrating the entire European nation, I think Alara too has a very bad role to play there. And Oni has provided the platform to them for cooperation, for integration, and for many opportunities to open up. And of course, on business levels and creating opportunities for our people, Oni and Alara have agreed today to cooperate to see how they can support our people, expand the scope regarding tourism, culture, and generally regarding uh, the things of our forefathers. After the welcome and prayers were dispensed with, the Oni spoke about insecurity, curbing inflation, and the politics of economic growth. In this continent, over 70% of the population in Nigeria are between the age of 21 to 40 and they are very active population. We don't have much challenges for them. Obviously, it will trigger a lot of things. Insecurity, youth, unrest and all what have you. We keep telling our government, they should wake up, come up with a lot of programs, laudable programs, laudable initiatives to bring out the best in the youths of this country. A lot of uh, even youths all over the world that are engaging in kidnapping, they probably think they're doing business. They're very ignorant of it. They probably see it as business. But we need to reorientate them and let them know that 
the country is the asset for all of us and we must protect it. And I'm very happy with developments in the political scene right now. For the first time, they are having public hearing all over the country as far as amending the constitution of the country is concerned. And they are moving all over the country now. We need to refresh the basis of our existence and bring in more fresh ideas that will suit what is currently on ground.